we are now still at the web good uh, crypto basic uh, we are still at the web good crypto basic uh, section 5 is actually a lot of reading so you can see section 5 is about the symmetric encryption asymmetric encryption or right, I'll leave you to read this one on your own I won't go into it okay uh, basically I want to go into the section 6 which basically uh, is about signature all right, and if you scroll all the way down you will find your assignment okay so you are given a private RSA key all right so you have your private key over here and you are supposed to find the modulus of the public key all right so if you read the previous section about private key and public key you will know what it is also there's one part and the other part is to provide the signature all right for that modulus so this is your second part over here okay uh first of all i'm going to purposely make a error because there is two part of this uh, form so in the public key I'm just going to key in maybe three question mark alright I'll leave the modulus itself actually empty and I will post the answer which is definitely wrong and it will tell me that the modulus itself is not correct so this part is already wrong okay but uh, i'll leave it at this okay let me just get rid of this one now in order to use rsa there is actually a lot of uh, tools that i can use but uh, i will choose to use the open ssl now i did not load the open ssl onto my window machine Okay, I am using a window machine, but I'm I did not actually load uh, and configure the open SSL onto my window machine. So what I have over here is I am running my Kali Linux inside the Oracle virtual machine, virtual box. Okay, and Kali Linux already come pre-configured with open SSL actually inside your lab you can actually find the Kali Linux onto all your lab machine all right so we have already preloaded all the lab itself okay so uh, so we'll be using both of these uh, for this particular assignment itself okay first let me go to the text editor all right so now i have a small little text editor over here running okay and i go back to my web code i need to copy the entire private key so i'm going to copy the entire private key but in order for you to copy and paste between your host computer which is my window machine and the virtual computer which is the guest computer in the kali linux i will need to go to the device and make sure that my share clipboard is bi-directional bi-directional means i can copy from the clipboard from host to guest from guest to host okay so it's bi-directional both direction okay once i uh, make sure this is correct i would be able to paste this in all 
okay so i paste my entire uh private key into the text editor and i will save this okay as test dot key so i will save it over here okay so now i have saved it i can close the text editor and go into my terminal all right so now i'm in the terminal for Kali Linux and I'm the root user so you can see root at Kali first thing I will do is I will do a listing ls is to list remember all your commands and I can see my test.key over here if I want to see what is inside test.key uh, another quick way to do that from the terminal is to use the cat command which is the concatenation but uh, cat command can also be used to open up a file especially text file and see what is inside there so i will do a cat test dot key to see what is inside and i can see a very long private key okay i can see a very long private key itself which is the one that is given to us from the web group i'm going to clear the screen so that it's easy to see what is going on all right now my screen here is actually very small so basically i have typed it uh the process inside my notepad so let me just go to my notepad for a while The first thing I want to do is I want to create the public key. Right, I want to create the public key. I'm only given the private key. The question inside the uh, web code is the modulus for the public key. So that's the first thing I need to do. I don't have a public key now. Remember, just now we only have the private key. So I will run my open SSL. Okay. I know it's a RSA because that's what the uh, question of the assignment say. And I'm using my public key, which I keep inside the test dot key. I'm going to create the public file. Okay. And the public file will be test.pub, which is short form for public. And I'm going to just hit enter here. And it says uh, writing the RSA key. Now, I'm going to do a list. And this time I see one more file created called the test.pub. Alright, so the file is actually created successfully. But anyway, let me just view into this file. So I do a cat onto the test public and I will see the public key. So you can see public key all the way down here. So I've created the public key. All right. So now I have the private key, I got the public key. But that is not the answer because the question wants the modulus. All right, the question actually wants the modulus. So let me just clear the screen so that it's easier for everyone to understand what is going on. So the next section 
is I want to get the modulus from the test dot tab, which is basically my public key file. So I will run this set of command okay to show you what is going on open SSL oh, I'm still using open SSL still using the RSA my in file will be the test pub because uh, that is my uh, that is actually my public key okay so my public key and I want the modulus and I do not want to output it into any file uh, in short basically let me just hit enter okay I just want it to show onto the screen all right so now I will see the modulus okay okay let me just copy this I you can't copy everything please don't copy everything that is not what the uh, web code actually want just copy only modulus equal after the equal sign all the way to the end so be very careful all right don't have any space inside there and don't put the equal uh, inside there as well and I am going to copy the selection okay go back to my web code and remember just now I made a mistake into the modulus okay so I'm going to paste it inside here so it's very long or you can see it's actually very long but it's all inside the small uh, little text box okay. and I'm gonna post the answer all right now what I have is the modulus is correct but the signature does not match this modulus because this part here is still empty 